LiDAR data is becoming readily available across the United States as the USGS 3D Elevation Project, known as 3DEP, continues to support collection of LiDAR data across the country. One of the derivative products of LiDAR is the Digital Elevation Model, called a DEM. I'm going to show you how to use a DEM to improve the visualization of 3D scenes in ArcGIS Pro. To start, we're looking at a scene view in ArcGIS Pro. Everything I'm going to do can be done with a basic Pro license. Now just to make sure we all understand, ArcGIS Pro does come with access to an elevation surface. You can see that built-in surface here in the ground group. It's called World Elevation 3D slash Terrain 3D. It's a bare earth elevation, meaning you don't see structures, vegetation heights, or temporary things like construction debris or temporary dirt mounds. As for the resolution of the included elevation surface, it's good for regional studies, like countywide or larger. When you need to analyze or even just view elevations for a smaller area, like a neighborhood or a building construction site, you'll likely use LiDAR. Bare earth elevations can be derived from LiDAR, but you can also get heights of buildings and vegetation. LiDAR is also really good for mapping temporary things, like the height of debris piles, because LiDAR can be collected with drones, which can be rapidly deployed at relatively low cost. Because of the dense set of points collected by LiDAR, it records very detailed elevation changes, so we can see things like the height of a curb that we probably wouldn't see in the regional elevation service that's the default in Pro. In this demo, I'll show you what a 3D scene looks like using the default ArcGIS Pro elevation surface, and then how to change the scene to get its elevation from a LiDAR-derived DEM. What I have here is a 3D scene centered on a construction site near Arlington, Texas, here in the US. I'm looking at the standard world imagery base map, and it's being draped over the standard world elevation. You can see some of the elevation differences in this area there are very slight elevation changes. The default elevation surface is okay, but it has two weaknesses in this area. Number one, it's not very high resolution, so it won't show much detail over small areas. And number two, it was created before the construction in this area started, so you really can't see the changes that are going on with the construction. So what I'll do is create an alternative elevation surface and tell this imagery to get its elevation from my new surface instead of from the original elevation surface. So let me show you how that works. Over here in my contents pane, under 2D layers, here's that world imagery layer that I'm talking about. If I right click on it and look at its properties, there's an elevation tab. And you can see that currently, this imagery is displaying on the ground which means draped over the original ground elevation that comes with ArcGIS Pro. We're going to tell it to get its elevation from somewhere else, from our LiDAR. So to do that, I have to go over here to Elevation Surfaces and create a new elevation surface. I've already done that here, and I have a second elevation surface called Arlington LiDAR, and when I open it, you can see that it points to four elevation surfaces. These are .img files. These are elevation models derived from LiDAR, but let me show you how I did it. I'm using four elevation sources in this one elevation surface because this construction site happens to sit right on the corner of four different LiDAR datasets. So I make this one elevation surface that can get elevation from all four of those sources. LiDAR datasets are quite large and often broken into small chunks following the same pattern as USGS topo maps original USGS DEMs, and DOQQs. How I did this was I just right click on the elevation surfaces and choose Add Elevation Surface. And then I give it a name, and then I right click on the elevation surface and choose to Add Elevation Sources. That's where I went out to the folder where I have the data and pointed to the image files. So I select all of the images that I want to use as sources for my study area, you create the source first, that's like a group, and then you add whatever sources you want to use. Now that doesn't change the look of the scene yet. I then have to go up to the imagery and any other 2D layers that I have, go to the properties of each of these 2D layers one by one, and go to the elevation tab, 
and choose to display those features on a custom elevation surface. And when you choose to display them on a custom elevation surface, that's when you get to pick from the elevation surfaces that you've created. When you click OK, it takes just a minute to redraw, but now you can see much better elevation changes. I have a bookmark to get us down into that same construction site. Do you see what a dramatic difference there is there now? I can really see that something is going on. It just looked relatively flat before. And again, that was for two reasons. The default elevation source is not high enough resolution to see this much detail, and that default elevation surface is not as timely, so it was probably collected before this construction started. But even over here, where it's not really construction related, you can see a lot more detail in the elevation change. So there you go. That's how you use derivative LiDAR products to provide elevation to your 2D layers in ArcGIS Pro. To find out more, come join us at some of our upcoming classes in ArcGIS Pro and in LiDAR. Thanks for listening, and I hope this was useful.